Hello and welcome back to another episode of Twig. So yeah, this week there's been a bit of a like Kronos winter update. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. Let's get into the video. So as always, I'll start off by putting the change logs for this week's update on the screen now so you can pause the video and read them if you want. So the new items in the shop this week are the Epic Jingle Bells Core, the Rare North Pole Gravestone, the Epic Gingerbread Man Avatar, the Epic Gingerbread Woman Avatar, and the legendary Snowman Evil Avatar. The sleigh dropship is still in the shop from last week. So in the hub there's a new promotion thing, uh, so yeah, it just in the normal spots where the promotions normally are. Um, if you go up to the Winterland promo and you like, punch the thing, uh, you'll get a free planet's core, uh, it's like a little snowman. Uh, it's a pretty cool core, uh, it looks pretty cool, although one thing I will say about it is uh, it's sort of on an angle when it's like turning around, so a lot of people I see just random people when they're trying to get other people's core who've got the snowman core, they'll try and hit where the snowman actually is going around, and that's like that doesn't always hit the actual core, you've sort of got a punch in the middle, so yeah, it is a bit strange, but I don't know. Uh, it's just some. I just thought I'd say it because like, some people don't seem to know that like, you just hit in the middle. Uh, so yeah. So this week there's been a couple changes with like the stats menu uh, in the hub. So like the the book and your hotbar uh, where you can look at the achievements and the stats. Uh, well yeah, there's been a couple changes to the stats. Uh, the first thing is that now the overall game stats are always at the top. Uh, yeah, I didn't really, I think they were sort of random before, I don't really know, but I just know it wasn't always at the top, but yeah, now it's at the top always, so it's a bit easier to just like look at your over, overall game stats, you don't have to sort of go down and uh, like get the right one, so yeah, and also there's been a stats page added for Kronos Double, I didn't realise there wasn't one already, but I guess if there hasn't been one, then it's really good that there's one now, because I mean, I didn't realise it, that it wasn't there, but it's kind of silly it not being there, so yeah, it's great it's been added. So next I'm going to mention like a, a very small change uh, that like, most people probably wouldn't even notice, uh, but I think it is, it is still quite important to mention because uh, a lot of people have been like mentioning it. Uh, like asking for it to be changed uh so yeah uh like ever since uh the name of planets was changed to core wars uh, it's always still said on the uh global leaderboards uh like planets it, yeah it's still said planets but it's finally been changed to core wars um so yeah so now i'm gonna go through uh like the christmas calendar items for this week uh so if you don't know already um as part of galaxites like holiday event uh there's like for each day of december so far there's been a different thing where if you log in on that day uh you get that thing for free uh so yeah it's pretty cool uh and uh, my last episode of twig came out on uh, the 12th of december so i've got up to day 12 so i'm gonna go f uh, from day 13 uh, so yeah day 13 was the greek grey stone uh, day 14 was the Ornament 4 core. Uh, I'm actually quite annoyed because I forgot to log in on that day, so I don't have that. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, then day 15 was a free level up. Uh, so, yeah, if you logged in on day 15, uh, your battle pass would just, like, like level up an extra level uh, for free. So, yeah. Um, then day 16 was the Star Taunt. Uh, day 17 was the Cookie Tin core. Um, day 18 was the Ornament 5 core. And uh, today, uh, day 19, uh, is the Water Witch Taunt. Um, so yeah, uh, that's another uh, like Water Witch item. Uh, I think I think it's pretty certain. Like I I don't know for sure, but it seems very likely that um, on the last day of this uh, like login thing, uh, there's gonna be like the actual Water Witch avatar. Because uh, if you don't know already, uh, there's uh, like a secret Water Witch skin thing that only uh, like staff have worn uh, only staff have it so it's completely unreleased and i think that's probably when it's gonna uh, come out so before i talk about the chronos winter update i'm gonna like quickly talk about a photography competition that galaxy announced earlier this week uh, so yeah it's a bit like the um youtube video competition that there was in the past but 
uh, yeah, this is sort of for, like photography uh, in Galaxite. So yeah, um, it ends pretty soon. Like it ends on uh, Monday uh, the 21st, or so, like two days after this video comes out. But oh well, if this is the first time you're hearing of this competition and you want to enter, uh, then you've got to be fast. Um, but yeah, um, the, there's like 10 different categories that you can submit a photo for. Uh, it's like bay, best party picture, uh, funniest picture, best selfie, best scenic picture, best picture with a helper, best main hub pi picture, best Kronos picture, best Core Wars picture, best Phil Gaps picture, and best prop hunt pi picture. <laughs> so yeah, um, there's 10 different categories uh, that you can enter, um, and there's going to be a winner uh, from each uh, category. So yeah, um, there's like rewards like 30 days ultra uh, and like uh, one of the items available in the store. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you want to like find out more about it, I'll put a link to uh, the, the thing on their website uh, in the description so you can check that out. Um, so yeah. So now I'm going to go through all of the uh, Kronos changes. So yeah, uh, it's like a Kronos winter update this week. Um, and the, probably the first thing you've noticed that's changed in Kronos is that now the, um, the map is like covered in snow. Uh, so yeah, just sort of like part of that, like winter update, like sort of snow cause it's winter and, uh, probably, it's probably only going to be temporary. Like it'll, uh, go away once the, um, holiday events are over, uh, probably, uh, or maybe a bit after, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it probably it, it won't stay like this forever. I'm guessing. Uh, but yeah, uh, and it's not just like snow that's like covering like most of the map. Like it's not covering all the map because uh, it would be kind of strange if the desert uh, area had like snow on it. So yeah, um, but yeah, there's also like uh, a bunch of the water has turned to ice. So uh, that sort of mixes up the game a bit because. Uh, like sometimes you might want to go around, like go specifically over the ice, because before going over the water would be quite slow. But now you can get around places a bit easier because you can just jump across the ice. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and also just like having the snow over the map that just makes it feel uh, a bit different. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that's just me, but yeah. So uh, in Kronos this week, there's also been changes to um, the jump pads and the flight pads. Um, so yeah, uh, start off with the jump pads. Uh, first of all, uh, something that's pretty important, uh, I think, is that now uh, like the green jump pads, they always point in the direction where you get launched now. Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty useful because before, uh, sometimes they would just be pointing in random directions. Um, but yeah, now you know, uh, okay, I'm going to be launched in that direction because that's pointing in that direction. So yeah, uh, so now it's just sort of a bit be bit easier for uh, like just, I guess, sort of newer players because a lot of people who played a lot um, would just sort of know, uh, okay, right, I already know this one's going to launch me that way even though it's pointing the other way. But yeah, uh, I guess it just makes it a bit easier overall. Um, and there's also been jump pads, uh, which is like the green ones, uh, added uh, in like uh, the desert area and the pirate islands area. So I guess it's just a bit more mobility. Um, so yeah, and also the uh, purple flight pads, uh, there's been three uh, new uh, ones added uh, to the map. Uh, so yeah, the first one is in the desert area. Uh, people have asked for uh, a jump pad in, like, a, a flight pad in the um, desert area for a while now because before uh, there would be, like, a few uh, areas there where you could loot, but it would just sort of be really far out the way and you couldn't really get back to anywhere else. So, yeah, like, the nearest, like, big place was the Wild West area, but it still took quite a bit of time to get there because there was no, like, flight pad to get there easier. So, yeah. Now there's one there, uh, and especially with uh, last week, I think it was, uh, there was extra like uh, areas added to that desert, um, that desert section of the map. So yeah, and now it's sort of the flight pads being needed more than ever now. So yeah, um, there's also been a flight pad added in the Viking area. Um, a lot of people are saying now that uh, the Viking area is the best place to land now. Uh, I don't really know. I don't really land the Viking the, in the Viking area too much. Uh, 
specific, mainly because the, it's really far, like, to the side of the map, so uh, the corruption, like, closes in on the Viking area really quick. But yeah, I guess the flight pad sort of means a bit more people uh, are land there, because before uh, there wouldn't really be too many people there, and there's quite a lot of, like, loot there, so, I mean, it would just sort of go to waste. Uh, but yeah. And there's also been a new flight pad added to the Pirate Islands area. Um, this is probably the least used of the new ones, uh, because uh, like when, when I saw it in the changelogs referring to the Pirate Islands, I didn't even know what it was talking about. Um, but yeah, it's just sort of the islands near the bottom right of the map, uh, near like the cove, uh, but yeah, where the volcano is. Uh, so yeah, there's a, like, a little ship. Uh, off the edge of the map it's like really far out uh from the center of the map so the corruption is going to get there really early so yeah that's another reason why it's probably not going to be re like be used too much uh but still it is there so if you do want to land in that like pirate islands area um like there's a pretty good uh like uh chest uh in like the volcano thing so maybe you want to land there first then use the um the flight pad to go off to somewhere else i don't know but yeah uh there's a new one in the pirate islands area so the last main part of this uh like chronos winter update uh is changes to the amount of loot that you find in different areas uh so yeah you you'll probably know that last week uh the pirate cove area was supposedly nerfed um, although, like, a few chests were removed, and I don't think it really got, like, less overpowered, because, I mean, a vault was added uh, to the Pirate Cove, which made it, like, uh, much better. Uh, but, yeah, uh, it, it was nerfed last week, but it was still a good place to land. It was still quite overpowered. But this week, uh, even more chests have been removed from the the Pirate Cove area, and uh, I've landed there a few times uh, after the update, and I think it's no longer a really, really overpowered spot where everyone's like landing. Uh, yeah, it's just a bit more fair now. You can find the same loot in the Pirate Cove as you can, like basically landing anywhere else where there's a decent amount of chests. So yeah, uh, that's sort of what Galaxy have aimed to do this week. Uh, sort of like balanced out the chests, like tweaking the chests like all over the map uh, to make sure there's sort of the same amount of uh, loot in different areas, uh, like wherever you land. Um, and they've, they've also made sure there's uh, chests that are guaranteed to be at least rare um, in like basically everywhere. So yeah, you may notice there's a, like, a few specific locations where there's chests that are like always rare or above. Um, so yeah, that's just sort of been... Uh, evenly distributed around the map uh, to make sure like everywhere you, everywhere on the map uh, wherever you land it's basically going to be the same sort of loot so that's it for this episode of twig if you enjoyed it please leave a like and also if you're not already please subscribe because it really helps me out and also it means you won't miss any future episodes of twig um so yeah bye